every industry or organization will have to manage one or the other event. So Odo offers you an events module that will help you to plan and organize events. So you can install the events module from Odo apps. And here you can find that Now we can see an events dashboard where you can find the existing events in different stages. Like if you have created new events, you can find it under new stage. And if you have any booked events, that is shown under the stage booked. And you can see here, we have an announced event live musical festival. And for each event in the scan menu, you can see few details are shown like the name of the event, the location, and the date and time, and the expected attendees of the event. And you can click on this create button to create a new event. So here, let me create an event, the national conference. On forestry food. and agriculture. And then here we can specify the date of the event. So this event starts from number 24. And ends in number 26. And here we can see the time. So you can see the start date and end date. Then here you can add an event template. So you can see some of the existing event template that we have created before, like conference, exhibition, training, sport, ticketing. So you can create events faster using event templates. So you can design these event templates before. Here when you come under configuration, when you click on this event template, you can find the existing event templates. So here you can find the conference event template. And here we have added some details like the time zone. And then here we can add tags for the event template. Then you can limit the registration. Like here you can limit the number of attendees of the conference. So I'm limiting it to 2000 and here you can see a field auto confirmation. So it is used for uh, automatically confirming the registration. That is events will be automatically confirmed upon creation. So this makes us easy to handle the flow of simple events. And then here we can add tickets can add description, then the price of the ticket. Then here you can see the maximum seat. So I'm setting it to thousand. Then again, I can add a different ticket. So for this ticket silver, I'm setting the total persons as thousand. Then here we can find communication related details of this event template like it is possible to send reminders to the attendees before the event. So here you can see an email will be immediately sent after each registration. And then here we have added a reminder one hour before the event, then three days before the event. Like this way, here you can send SMS or email to the attendees.
and here we can add notes and some extra instructions so these instructions will be printed on the tickets and you can also allow to show a register button and we can use website sub menu inside the website now here you can see when you select the template conference the details that we have set inside the template is automatically added inside this event international conference on forestry food and agriculture so it will be easier if you create templates because we can save the time to fill the details so if you're creating another conference you can use these details and you can also change like uh, for this event i want 500 more attendees then here i'm changing the maximum number of seats of the silver ticket to 500 And here you can see the venue of this event and you can set the organizer of the event, responsible person, and you can view the company. And here we can set the website. That is, we can restrict this event publishing to a particular website. Now we can save the event and it's possible to invite people to this event so you can either send email or sms here we can provide the title of the event Then you can choose a recipients. We have a different recipients here. Then after adding filters, here we can add the SMS content. Now we can save this and you can send this SMS or we can schedule this. So we can choose the date and time and schedule the SMS. So events module is integrated with SMS marketing module. So we have done a video on SMS marketing in order for free. So you can watch that video. We have provided the link above. Same way we can send email also. So you can provide the subject of the email and you can choose a recipient and send email. So once you save the changes, you can publish the event on the website. So for that, here we have the option to go to website and publish this event. So here from the website, you can view the name of the event and here we can find all the tickets that we have created. So it's possible to choose one ticket and register for the event. So before that, let me publish this event on the website. So it is published and in order we have a menu events on a website so here we can track all the events published on this website and you can filter this by the different types of activities like culture music sport and the type so let me filter this by conference so here we can see one event that we have just created with the tag conference and we can filter by the age limit 
and you can also view the upcoming events the events in this month and the past events so we don't have any past events with the tag conference so you can see here from this page that this event is scheduled for number 24 and this it starts on number 24 and you can view the time and the venue so now here when someone visit the website and open the event here you can choose a ticket so one silver ticket and two vip ticket so after choosing the ticket here we can click on the register And here we have to provide name, email, and phone number. So first one is pre-filled, and you can change this. And here you can provide the second one. And after that, we can click on continue. So the registration is confirmed for the event International Conference on Forestry, Food and Agriculture. And here we can view the registered members, like we have three members registered. And here we also have an option uh, to add this event to Outlook or Google Calendar. And you can see the user Michelle admin have registered for this event. And now we can see the expected attendees for this event is updated here to three because three people have registered for this conference. And here we can see the total attendees so when you click on this, you can find the details. And here it's also possible to confirm the attendance. Like uh, here, if this person have attended for the conference, you can see the status has changed. And we can also contact the attendees of the event by sending email or SMS. And don't forget to change the state of the event. Because when you're creating an event, you can see that in new stage and you can move to book stage. And if you announce the event, you can move it to announce stage. Now we can see that event is under the stage. And then here we can also change the configuration of our event stages. Like here we can mark a stages and stage. We can make it full in Kanban. Uh, then here we can add some tooltip. And you can also add a description that help you to understand the meaning and purpose of the stage. So here you can see for the stage announced a description is given as even has been publicly announced. Like this way, for your stage, you can add your own description. And then here we can see even tag categories. So this can be used on your website to filter events. So we have seen that. That is, we can categorize the events using these tags. 
and for each tag you can set the color so it will be easy to identify them and here you can configure lead generation rule you can convert the attendees of the event to lead so here already we have created two lead generation rule like create lead for attendee or for order when attendees are created or when attendees confirm for the event or if they have attended for the event and you can also add like from which event lead need to be generated and you can add event categories company and some default values that can be set for the generated leads like the sales team sales person and some default tags and if you want to create opportunity directly then you can set as opportunity also and if you want to add more conditions to filter out the attendees here you can find the option to add the rules so right now we have 23 records matching uh, this rule now here we have a reporting like events analysis and attendees analysis so here we can analyze all the events that we have created and to this pivot table you can see already a field have added like the reserved seats that is total count of reserved seats for each event and here you can find a lot of other measures like you can need available seats maximum attendees number number of participants of the event and the unconfirmed seat reservations then for this you can also find a graph view so here we can find a lot of different views and we can filter the analysis report uh, by events upcoming or running event and you can group the report by a lot of fields like responsible person template stage and can add custom filters and group and in the same way we have attendees analysis report here you can see the count of attendees for your event so this is shown in different other views like graph view canvas view then we have list view and cohort view so here we can find attendees uh, day wise week wise then in a month or in a year so here you can see the attendees in year 2021, 2022. So despite the size of your organization, it would be easier to manage event if you have assistance of auto events.